Today, we will be covering the unboxing and installation of the Vertiv VRC self-contained rack-mounted cooling unit. This video will cover the major steps for installation of the unit and all included accessories. This is not comprehensive, so please refer to your user manual for a more detailed explanation. We will be installing the Vertiv VRC into a Vertiv VR rack, though this unit can be installed into any standard four-post or two-post 19-inch IT rack. Please follow all warnings and safety instructions in the user manual. OSHA-approved personal protective equipment is required for installation. Failure to do so may cause potential harm to yourself or the unit. When your new unit arrives, move it into place using an electric forklift or hand pallet truck. This crate will contain all necessary installation components. Once the packaging is in place, you are ready to start unboxing. First, unlock the wooden case from the pallet by bending the retaining clips on the bottom. Next, remove the wooden case by pulling it up. Third, remove the EPE and the sealing tile kit and set them aside for later use. Last, remove the Vertiv VRC 100 unit from the wooden pallet. You are now ready to start installing your new Vertiv VRC system into the rack. The Vertiv VRC comes with several standard accessories in the packaging, which we'll show you how to install as well. The first accessory that you will need is the L-shaped mounting rails. To install these, first start by loosening the nuts that attach the rear rail bracket to the mounting rail. Next, you will fasten the front and the rear of the mounting rails to the upright posts of the rack using the included screws. Last, tighten the nuts on the rear rail bracket to secure the rails in place. Prior to sliding the unit into place on the mounting rails, remove both rear mounting brackets from the Verta VRC. This may be needed later depending on the depth of the enclosure upright posts, so place them off to the side for now. Due to the weight of the unit, the Verta VRC comes with a pair of lifting straps to help maneuver the unit into place. To use these, place one underneath the front portion of the unit and one under the rear portion, like this. Now the unit can be easily lifted onto the mounting rails and slid into the proper position in the rack. With the unit in place, the front mounting brackets can be secured to the upright posts of the rack using the included screws and lock nuts. Two screws and lock nuts per side are needed. If the depth of the rear upright posts aligns with the rear mounting bracket locations for the Verta VRC system, reattach the rear mounting brackets to the unit and secure the bracket to the upright posts using the screws and lock nuts. If the depth does not align, the rear mounting brackets are not needed. Before installing any of the remaining accessories, remember to remove the power cable bracket to allow for the installation of the heat rejection transition piece. With the power cable bracket removed, fasten the drain fitting to the drain port of the rear side of the Verta VRC unit. Make sure to tighten the drain fitting as this helps to prevent water leakage during operation. The next step is to install the transition part for the heat rejection duct kit using the included screws and washers. This piece helps to maintain proper separation between the hot air being rejected and the cool air being delivered to the IT equipment. Next, we will install the L-shaped pipe to the drain fitting using a cable tie to secure it. This will connect to the condensate pump kit that we will install next. Installing the condensate pump can be done in six easy steps. The pump is comprised of two different parts, pump bracket one and pump bracket two. The condensate pump is pre-installed on bracket one from the factory. Step one, loosen the screw and remove bracket two from bracket one. Keep this screw and bracket two to the side for later use. Step two, attach the condensate drain hose to the pump if extending the drainage line is required. Step three, Install bracket one on the rear side of the VRC and secure it using the included screws and washers. The same two screws that hold this bracket in place are also used for the transition piece for the heat rejection kit. 
Step 4. Connect the L-shaped pipe to the pump reservoir. Use a cable tie to secure it. Step 5. Plug the provided power cable into the condensate pump. Step 6. Attach bracket 2 to bracket 1 using the screw that was set aside in step 1. To connect the heat rejection duct to the unit, slide the duct over the transition piece, ensuring that there is at least 3.5 inches of overlap between the duct and transition to maintain a good connection. The duct will be secured using the included pipe clamp. Connecting the duct to the ceiling tile is very similar. With the ceiling tile in place, slide the duct over the collar on the ceiling tile and secure it using the included pipe clamp. There should also be at least 3.5 inches of overlap to ensure a good connection between the duct and ceiling tile. Before moving on, make sure to install the return air ceiling tile. This has an integrated air filter and provides fresh, clean air to the room for the unit to use. After all these items have been installed properly and inspected, you are ready to move on to installing the display and monitoring kits. To install the display unit, simply connect the supplied power cable to the unit and attach it to the display. There are two different cable lengths and an integrated magnetic holder provided to install the display screen in various locations on or near the rack. To connect the communication board, this process is very simple. Slide the communication board into the housing and secure it with the two included screws. Once it's secured, you can mount the magnetic housing on the rear of the Verta VRC system and connect it to the unit using the provided cable. This card provides communication to the unit through SNMP, HTTP, and Modbus communication protocols, allowing for more flexibility while connecting the unit to your IT infrastructure. Once plugged in, the unit will take a few seconds to fully start up. After the unit is powered on, the LCD screen will display the on screen, allowing you to choose the displayed language. By accessing the menu, you can also set and view unit alarms, set the temperature limits, view system status and runtime, and access the help menu. Congratulations, you have now fully installed your new Vertiv VRC. The Vertiv VRC self-contained IT cooling rack system makes it easy and affordable to achieve reliable, efficient cooling for critical equipment in small server rooms, network closets, and edge computing spaces. Providing up to 3,500 watts of IT server cooling in an easy-to-install and space-saving design, the Verta VRC system is an all-in-one solution. Its integrated heat rejection system simplifies your thermal management challenges and the energy-efficient features and scalable capacity of the Verta VRC system makes it an obvious choice for protecting your dynamic IT space and your business.